My name is Musimi Mbathi from the University of Nairobi, Department of Urban and Regional Planning. Um, I'm a city planner by qualification. I also double up as a GIS, Geographic Information Systems uh, Consultant, yes, and researcher as well. We have come a long way. 13, 14 years ago, when I was working with the government of Kenya, uh, again in the Department of Physical Planning, I, I recall this moment when uh, Jane Weru from then um, Pamoja Trust, with yourself, Jack Macau, uh, coming over to my office to inquire about work that we were doing in Kibera, one of the biggest slums in, in Nairobi, and this region for that matter. And what you wanted to find out as um, Pamoja Trust was what tools we were employing to understand better the informal settlements. Geographic information systems had not set foot in Kenya uh, like it is today. We, we had rudimentary ways of understanding settlements and human settlements for that matter. Uh, I was among the pioneering team from Kenya to get further training on how to apply these tools. So here we were uh, as a department trying out a new tool uh, and trying it out in the biggest settlement in the city of Nairobi. That was a big task, but all the same, a, an, an interesting learning experience. I, I must say, interesting learning experience. It had not been tried before. So we went structure by structure, trying to enumerate, trying to capture data and have the same represented spatially. Uh, in excess of 15,000 structures were covered in this, this exercise, between 15 and 17,000. And I could boast at that particular moment that I knew Kibera even uh, better than some of the residents who lived in that settlement. So here was a tool that helped us get to know settlements much better than the communities. But that's not a, a good thing to say because I believe residents ought to be empowered to know settlements better than we people who do not live in the settlements. And here comes an opportunity through, uh, through Genweru and Pamoja Trust who came over to the office to find out exactly what we were doing. And, and from that moment henceforth, a, a relationship was cultivated between the People's Federation, Mungano, and the government and other partners in terms of understanding our settlements better. I'm proud to say that that initiative has grown and many more organizations appreciate it and many more people appreciate our settlements, including communities themselves now. I've taken this up and applying it in a good way to map out their areas, to make people understand challenges existing, and of course that's the best way to begin developing solutions to the settlements.